Well, this is how Senna ages back to double here and Portimao. Starting from pole position, the number 81 got the whole shot off the line when the lights went out. It was a great start from the Australian. Further back, it would be Xavi Cardlos and Alberto Sura set, settling into the race in second and third, with Tapia trying to go around the outside of Garcia. But it wasn't to be as Piotr Bishokuski had made a bad mistake losing fit to Tapia on lap number two. But as Senna A just stormed away from the rest of the field, it was Garcia that led in second ahead of Cardelos and Alberto Sura close for comfort. Poetry in motion and a nice easy Sunday ride. Probably not, but it made, he made it look like it. Senna Aegis was in command as Cardelos found a way up the inside of Roberto Garcia into turn at number 14 with Alberto Sura swarming all over the back and looking for any advantage he could as Senna Aegis came over the crest into Craig Tone's corner. The battle wasn't done for second place as Cardelos had Garcia for company for the entirety of the race after his pass a few laps beforehand as Tapia had a little bit of a lunge up the inside of Alberto Sura, but Sura fought back immediately and brilliantly round the outside, sweeping past the number eight into turn number 12. Senna Aegis on his final lap of the race caught the back markers for what was a second or for a fifth win on, of the season on the cards as he rounded the final corner to come across the line, popped a little wheelie, and it was Senna Aegis, a reign supreme, and his perfect Portimao continued with a double here at the Algarve. One-legged wheelie was a celebration, a stoppy as well to match it, and also a bunny hop, big celebrations from the team as Senna Aegis leaves the Algarve with an even bigger championship lead as they roll in to, Porto, uh, roll in to the Catalan round in Montmelo in two weeks' time. Senna Aegis is unstoppable. <laughs>